Is this a good idea? I don't know if this is a good idea. Is this hack a good idea? Can I see how yellow that is? I'm scared. What is happening? Holy shit. No, what's happening here? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this gorgeous day? I am absolutely feeling wonderful. It's currently Mother's Day. Today is Sunday of Mother's Day. Well, for you, it's not Sunday of Mother's Day. But the reason I'm actually filming this today is because I have a photo shoot tomorrow and I have to shave my face. And now I'm not prepared for that mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. This, I don't like to shave it. So I'm filming a little early now with my facial hair still. <laughs> um, anyway, that's enough about me. How are you guys doing? I am going to be filming a video that I'm actually really, really stoked to try. This is basically testing out your guys' favorite makeup hacks. I asked on Instagram for you guys to send me some of your favorite hacks that you guys like to do that just help you out with your makeup routine. And these are gonna be those hacks. I am a little nervous. I've been going through some of the hacks, like reading them, and I'm like, Is that gonna work for me though? But you know what? That's okay because even if it doesn't work for me, it is your hack and it works for you. That's all that really matters, right? That's all that really matters in the world. The hack works for you and that's what matters. Um, I actually got this idea from Soph Does Life here on YouTube. She did this, I think about a month ago and I thought it was such a cute idea. So I thought, oh, we're gonna film it and uh, we're gonna go over some of these Wonderful, I hope, makeup hacks. These are all hacks, by the way, that I haven't really done or implemented into my routine in some way. So I'm excited to see if it works out for me specifically. But anyways, you guys, that is what today's video is going to be. As always, if you guys like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know, that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like testing hacks, if you guys like the gays. Girl, get ready, they gonna meme me your ass to death, bitch. <laughs> Wait, what does meme me? You know how they, um, Meme. Yeah, that. And give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And leave a little comment if you guys would like. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let's go and get into today's video. <laughs> hey guys, so we have several little hacks. We have several little hacks. We have some warming mascara in the bra in my bra before application. I don't have a bra, I don't have tits like that. Big boobs. Even if I were to literally like push them together, it wouldn't work. So I'm gonna get a glass of warm water for that mascara hack. We have the Scott Barnes Method Concealer and Bronzer first, foundation and after. By the way, you guys, these hacks, I'm not gonna be like a hack warrior. I do not know who created these hacks. This is literally hacks that you guys suggested to me that you guys like to use in your routine. This isn't like a, who did this hack? Let's find them. I have no idea. I have no fucking idea. Um, but we have a bunch of different hacks here, but what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna do the base hack. This hack is essentially, do you guys remember that hack that was going around on TikTok and it was basically like putting moisturizer on, then you powder your moisturizer, and then you like set it with setting spray, and then you put primer, and then you put your foundation? That's the hack I'm gonna try to do. Um, Cause I actually got several of you guys telling me to do that hack and try it out, which actually I've never tried. Basically putting powder after you prime, essentially, and then putting foundation on top of that powder, which I believe was like popularized by Jackie Ina and Wayne Goss, right? I don't know though. If you guys know though, I would love for you guys to comment down below where the hacks came from or whatever it might be. Honestly, there's just so many different <laughs> hacks and different like things going on. I don't know where it all came from. Who made the first smoky eye? I don't fucking know. Um, so let's go ahead and try that out. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin really quickly. I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs Youth Quake real quick. It's the moisturizer I have here on deck, on hand, on my desk. Do you know what's funny? I actually got a couple comments from you guys that were saying to do a video showing you guys the products that I have on my desk, like the things I essentially use all the time. Would you guys be interested in that? Let me know. You guys would be down to see a what's on my desk. Cause you guys know if it makes it to the desk, it's like, it becomes like a hero, you know? I can be and now we're gonna go in with some powder. <laughs> I've never done this. And it's supposed to be a very, very, very lightweight, light wash of powder. We're setting our moisturizer. Okay, okay. And we're basically essentially creating this little barrier for our skin. By the way, you guys, I'm going so lightweight with this powder, like such a small amount, but I'm setting the moisturizer. We're moistened. Ew. Ew, don't ever say that again. And then we do a little bit of a setting spray, a little mist. Okay, I'll take this one. Just any setting spray works. As such. And then what? And then we prime after this is set, and then we foundation. So what we're gonna do, actually, I'm gonna be testing another hack right now as well. We're gonna double dip our hacks. We're gonna double hack, double penetration. 
No. So this hack actually came in and basically it's saying to use eye primer on the nose and helps the foundation stay better on the nose as well as like your pores look a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna try that hack out today. So right now we're on the prim primer step. I'm gonna put a little bit of primer here and into my cheeks, a little smidge. And this is the Smashbox one. Oh, do you guys remember when I used to use this all the time? It was just so good to me. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit and then we're gonna put that onto a little bit on the nose. I'm assuming this hack's gonna supposed to like work for like essentially uh, if you're really oily because primer, eye primer specifically, is to help keep the oils in your eye at bay so your makeup lasts longer and has a nice grip ability to it. So I can only assume that this is gonna do that, you know? Okay, we need to see what the pores look like. Hold on. Okay, let's look at the pores. Let's look at the pores. The pores look smaller. The pores absolutely look smaller, that is for sure. Okay, there's that. And then I think we're gonna underpaint. Should we underpaint? I'm gonna underpaint and essentially it means your creams under your powder. So that's what we're gonna try to do today is we're going to underpaint. Oh, let me primer the rest of my skin around that area. Right here. Primer is now officially everywhere all over my skin. And let's underpaint. So basically the concealer and bronzer first and it helps to take away the cakiness is what it's supposed to do. If you don't put any foundation underneath your eyes, it's supposed to help with your cakey under eye. Not saying you have a cakey under eye, but if you do. <laughs> Same, sometimes, at moments. Uh, but we're gonna basically underpaint instead of doing foundation first and then doing on top. That's something I do not do, I don't really underpaint actually ever. That's I think what the term is called underpainting is essentially doing all your creams first and you put your foundation like more of like a lightweight foundation on top to let everything kind of show through. But it's supposed to like just look more natural. Snatural if you will, snatural. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna underpaint. So I'm gonna take the uh, Huda Beauty Tantor. This is in the shade Fair. So nothing is on our skin. <gasps> this video's done. It looks like Kakita. Okay, we're gonna put everything on. I'm gonna lightly blend it. This is, I'm taking this on a little Patrick Ta a sculpting brush. I've never looked better. A little bit on the forehead. <laughs> I like how I said a little bit on the forehead and it's like a whole gallon. Holy shit! <laughs> I'm scared. I really tapped it in. It's just very, it's a very pigmented product. I'm so scared, you guys. Wish us luck here. Wish us luck on this day. We should do a little bit on the center of the nose too. Those are fine. You guys, I feel a little stressed. I feel a little stressed, I'm not gonna lie. I look like this, I feel a little stressed. Let's do a little concealer. We're just doing concealer under the eyes. No foundation, by the way, no foundation yet. A lot of people were also suggesting doing this, like just doing a little bit of concealer on the beginning of your eye and then on the outer corner, which actually is something I've been doing for a while now, which I, I it's a hack I really enjoy, to be quite honest. I think it's a really, really, really nice hack. Why do I look like this? Okay, we're gonna blend out the concealer. I seriously look like Simba, dude. I'm taking the Hourglass Concealer, by the way. It's a concealer I really like and I use it all the time. I never really mention it, it's on my desk. I never mention that I use the Hourglass Concealer all the time, the Vanish Concealer, and I use it all the time, it's so good. Sexy, sexy drag queen. By the way, I'm blending with my Lunar Beauty sponge. The best sponge in all the land. By the way, like with that powder hack, by the way, I feel like my skin, it's looking, everything that's laying down is looking down, is going down really smoothly, which I'm a little shooky about. I'm a little shooky about it. Um, Let's go and take some blush too. Might as well underpaint with the blush. Let's take a little bit. This is the Melt Sandy Cheeks Blush Light. You know, sometimes I forget my own strength. Sometimes I forget my own fucking strength here. You know, sometimes I be forgetting. Y'all thought I looked like a Duvaline before? <laughs> this is a Duvaline. Okay, we're just gonna blend those edges a little bit. Luckily, the Melt Blush Lights blend so nicely. Like, it literally is effortless, so nice. Okay guys, so now we're going with our foundation. We are finally to the foundation step and we're gonna underpaint. We're gonna use something a little bit more soft foundation wise. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint. We're gonna use my sponge, the flat side of it. And we're just gonna pack on the tint. And this is supposed to just help us look more natural. I mean, it's, it's bl she's blending in, you guys. She is blending in. This is supposed to just help us look Snatched, but not overly snatched. Remember how I said? Snatched. Oh my God, the edges of my skin is literally, that's looking like Scott Barnsey. <gasps> is this his hack? Is this his thing, by the way, you guys? Question mark. Is this his thing? Is this, the underpainting, is that like something he started? I just have a question, like that's just a genuine question from me to you. From me to you, but that's looking very um, sickening. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, it looks really pretty. <laughs> so y'all do this, so the people that have told me about this hack, right, that were in my DMs, do you guys do this hack every single time? 
you do makeup? Because this seems almost like a lot of work. And when I say seems almost, that means it's a lot of work. So I wonder, I'm like, is this something you do often, all the time, 10 out of 10? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Dude, my skin looks so smooth. Holy shit, is that from like the other hack, the one before that we did? It's so smooth looking. This hat, this had to have been the hack before, right? So this is us, you guys, this is us currently. We underpainted, you guys, I have to admit, I'm kind of living. I'm kind of living. I think my skin looks beautiful. Um, I think it looks super smooth. I think my pores look super small. And I haven't even set my face yet. Okay guys, so the next hack we have, before I set everything, the next hack we have is setting your under eyes with a light eyeshadow. You press it in with a beauty blender, essentially. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna set our under eyes with a light powder. I feel like this actually is a hack that would definitely, definitely work because a lot of people like to use, like let's say a face powder to set their under eyes and then they go on top of it with like more of a loose translucent powder to kind of bake the under eyes. Definitely a hack that people like to use. Like for example, Studio Fix by MAC. Essentially it's a full coverage powder. So essentially this is using like a full coverage powder because eyeshadows are usually supposed to be full coverage underneath your eyes and then you set on top of it with like a loose translucent powder. So we're gonna try that hack and see if it works for eyeshadows or if it's just more of a face powder moment. But I need to find a shadow that's gonna be light enough. Well, that's where my issue is currently. Fuck, where am I gonna find a super light eyeshadow that's gonna fit perfectly for my under eye. We're gonna take our Greek goddess palette, iconic classic Lunar Beauty classic. She was good to us. You know, she's a, she's officially sold out. She's not coming back. She was good to us, this Greek goddess. Wow, wow, iconic. We're gonna take the shade Hestia. It's a super, super, super light shade. I'm gonna use that as my, oh, it's yellowy, fuck. You guys, I'm gonna oxidize. You know what, I'm gonna take that shade. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the Lysa Drag White. And that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna fucking do. So I'm gonna take Hestia on a beauty blender, like you said. You guys see how yellow that is? I'm scared. So I'm gonna mix a little bit with the white. I'm like, a drag. And we're going to use that underneath our eyes and see. <gasps> I'm scared. It's a little darker. Uh, no, what's happening here? No, what's happening there? You guys, it's gunking. Something's happening to my under eye and it's not a good something. Did I just say something? Um, it's not good. So we're gonna pat that in. That's so strange. It's happening a little bit on the side too. It's like in this area right here, it's almost like it's collecting. Maybe I have a dryness there. You guys see it there when I like turn a little bit, there's like a little, a smidge, a, a moment. I will say it looks beautiful that it's set. Like it looks nice, it looks full coverage. It looks really, really pretty. But for some reason, it's just not translating well on my under eye. Huh. Okay, not a hack that works for me. <laughs> Maybe because it's drier, I don't know. I don't know why exactly it didn't work, but it's not working, fam. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with some powder, some face powder, by the way, loose face powder. And hopefully, because it's lighter, it'll help kind of diffuse the dryness there. Okay guys, honestly, my face is so smooth. You can see, look at that, you can see the contour, you can see the blush a little bit. She's gonna be reinforced today. Okay, I look stunning, like I do, I know. Yeah. Cool guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the base off camera. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, reinforce essentially all the liquids I did and put powders over them to make sure everything's locked in place. And I'll be right back to do some more hacks with you. Okie dokie, okie dokie, oh, I'm just kidding. Okay guys, so we are back and the base is on. Back and the base is, no, I'm just kidding. We can't do that too, we can't have two songs. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So I went in and I also contoured my nose a little bit. I just used some bronzer and I put it down my nose. I did notice that this was kind of weird. This usually doesn't happen to me. Is that when I did that, like a little bit of the foundation was coming up at the edges of my nose. That's weird, right? That's a little fucking weird. Like it was, it was like slightly coming up and I was like, this doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. I was very confused by that, but um, don't know what that could have been. Maybe I was being a little more forceful than usual. I was like, Meh. I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, this is the face. I reinforced everything with powders. I put a little bit of bronzer on, a little bit of blush on, and everything just looks honestly fucking great. So next hack we have is this little hack right here was basically, basically this is using a super light blush underneath the eyes to make you look kind of doll-like is when you like put like blush under here, like super light blush to kind of like diffuse in. I'm not exactly sure, but we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna take my Moon Prism Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and take Pink Moon, the lightest shade here. It's like the lightest blush I own, literally. I'm gonna pack it around my cheek. 
Okay, I kind of love that. This is not something I do often. I've definitely done it before. Like I've used uh, Pink Moon specifically to diffuse my blush. <gasps> oh my God, I feel like Kylie. You know how Kylie almost has like a more of a pinkish under eye? This is giving me that fantasy. This is giving me that blushy Kylie doll-like fantasy. Man, a little bit of it on the nose as well, just for fun. What do you guys think? I actually really, really like it. Oh, perra, I love that. Oh, I love that, I do. I'm looking at the viewfinder and I fucking love it. Am I a Jenner? Rise and shine. Okay, well that hack worked. I really like it. I've definitely done it before. It's not something I, I mean, I haven't done it in so, so, so long, but I'm gonna have to implement it more a little bit. I do feel like it emphasizes my bags a little bit more. I will not lie. <laughs> I will not lie. I feel like it emphasizes my bags just a bit more. I might've put it too high actually. I might've put it too high. Hold on. And a little bit of a lighter powder here. Just a little bit brighter. I like it. I like that one. Ooh. Ooh, she's, she is the moment. She is the moment. Okay guys, so next hack we have is a hack for our brows. And this one's I'm a little, I'm a little nervous for. Eyelash glue as brow gel. I'm just nervous. I'm a little nervous for this one, I'm not gonna lie. Cause I'm scared that like, what if it like rips on my hair after? I don't I don't know what to expect, I don't know what to do. Is this a good idea? I don't know if this is a good idea. Is this hack a good idea? Cause the thing with lash glue, right? You have to like pick it off and it, you peel it off. Cause it's like an adhesive that you have to like peel. I don't think I'm prepared to peel for my brows. I don't think I'm prepared for that. Should I try it though, just for fun? You know what, I've decided I'm gonna try it. I'm just intrigued, I'm gonna do such a small amount of it anyway, like I'm not gonna do a lot because I am a little scared <laughs> for my brows. So I'm gonna take a little bit of lash glue and a spoolie, like a very small amount to be honest. And we're going to comb it upward. It's very sticky, obviously. By the way, this is not me saying that you should try this at home, by the way. This is not me saying that at all. This is me doing an experiment for my channel. It's like getting gunky, what the fuck? <laughs> What is happening? Oh no, 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 no. Let me see if I can like run it through maybe. That'll help. Son of a b Do you guys see all the gunky this? Look at my, look at this, look at this. If I would have known it would gunked up like this, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have. I hope that comes off, please. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of brow gel, actual brow gel, and I'm gonna run it through my brows. We're gonna do a light brow today. It's gonna be light. A light fill. This is Brow Freeze, by the way, by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I use it all the time. Should I put some on here too? Okay, we're gonna put a little bit here so the brows at least look similar, like they mirror a little bit. You guys, am I gonna have brows after this? This might have been my worst idea yet. Wow, they are strong. That is looking strong. They look really fucking good. She said, baby, we are gonna be reinforced today. I'm getting ripped tonight. Okay, I kind of live, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of live with the way they look. I think they look great. But honestly, this one looks just as good as this one. I should have just used the brow gel. Should just, should just use the brow gel. Um, anyway, but I wanted to try and see what we thought. It was just gunk city, dude. Um, anyway guys, let's go in with our next hack. This next hack is a hack I've definitely, I've never heard of this one ever in my life, but we're gonna try it. This person said, putting nude lipstick on my eyelids before applying eyeshadow, that way it sticks to them. So essentially, you're priming your lids with nude lipstick rather than using primer. The reason I don't feel like this hack is a hack that I would continue to use or would really recommend essentially is because lipsticks have uh, oils in them. They have this emollient oils to make them feel good on your lips. They have jojoba oils. They have just different types of oils in general. And so usually when you have oil, an oily product like that as your base throughout the day, it will crease more because your natural oils will start to react to it. The heat in your body will react to it. Even setting it with powder, which is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna still set it. It's not gonna last as long. So that's just my two cents as someone who, you know, has a makeup brand and who knows about, you know, like product and oils and uh, emollients. But we're gonna take a lipstick. This is the GG Good X Christian on Dit. Take a little new lipstick on my lids. I'm just gonna paint it on essentially. And it's honestly, it's very, it's so pretty. Look how soft that is. Soft and sunny, but you guys see how there's like a sheen? It almost gives you like an oily sheen, but of course, if you put a powder on top of it, it's gonna stick to it. It's gonna stick to it nicely. It's definitely gonna work and you're gonna, it's definitely gonna still be a base. Any kind of powder will stick nicely to creams and liquids, you know? So we're gonna just use this as our base shade, but this is not something I would, you know, continuously do. It was just a fun hack. I thought it was kind of cool the way it sounded when I heard of it. I was like, oh, whoa, I don't know about this. It makes sense. It definitely, definitely makes sense as a hack because it's like, oh, look, I'm just using, it's like essentially it's primer, but I don't know if this is my, um, my what? 
journey. So anyways, guys, what I was saying is that usually lipsticks have these kind of oils and emollients in them, right? To help make them feel smooth on the lips. That's the whole point. So it doesn't dry out your lips. But this is why it's so good to use actual eye primer because they actually have things that help it to literally do the exact opposite and keep your oils on your eyes at bay. This also feels a little bit heavy. You can like feel it. <laughs> you can feel it. But we're gonna just go ahead and put a little bit of shadow on and just kind of see. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not even gonna use shadow, I'm gonna use blush. I'm gonna take my blush, same blush palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Twilight and Stargaze. On a brush, I'm just gonna, pat, oh my God, see how it's creasing already? Jesus. Just gonna pat that onto the lid right here. And we're gonna give ourselves a little monochromatic moment. It's sticking great. You know, you guys it's definitely doing its job. It's enhancing the color gorgeously. But like I was saying, this is not something that's gonna last a super long time. I mean, any base is better than no base, right? I guess. I just wouldn't recommend for someone who's like, oh, I'm gonna keep my, I'm gonna have my makeup on for hours. Let me like do this. It's like, honey, no. Avoid, 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 avoid. I feel like kind of editorial in a way. Is that a good feeling or a bad feeling? Do you guys feel like that? Do you guys feel like I look a little editorial? I feel like this look is very like, Editorial, big brows, and one lid color. She is the moment. Anyway, you guys, it's definitely working. It's definitely sticking very well. There's nothing else to say other than that. It looks a little crazy. It looks a bit wild. It does. It definitely is a little, you know, a little sickly, if you will, a little sickly. Do we mind a sick moment? No, we don't mind it, but it's just, you know, it's not necessarily my journey either though, you know? A little bit of blush on my lower lash line. It's not gonna look the same though because I had that base on. It's just to help diffuse. We're diffusing. So definitely, did it work? Absolutely, but is it gonna last on the eyes? I don't think so. I definitely, definitely don't think so. I wouldn't really recommend this hack at all to use because it's not gonna last, my love. I think I look kinda cute though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna do two more hacks. We're gonna do two more hacks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the mascara hack where we basically essentially heat up the mascara. I don't have, Titty, so I can't put them in a bra or anything like that. But I'm gonna get a cup of warm water and I'm gonna put the mascara in it for a little while and see how it heats up and if it makes a difference with the formula. You guys, by the way, that was like one of my biggest hacks in general and I was scrolling through. A lot of people were saying that if you warm up the mascara before, it helps with your curl. It helps with your curl and like the, with the mascara, like the way it curls. So I'm like, we'll try it. We're definitely gonna try it out. And then I'm gonna try painting my um, lower lashes with eyeliner instead of mascara to help us uh, stop clumping. Those are my two hacks I wanna test out. Those are my last two I wanna check out. I'm gonna go get a cup of warm water and we're gonna boil her and we're gonna boil this. Okay guys, so we have our warm water here. We have a mug, we have our warm water. It's warm, it's not hot and it's not cold, it's warm. And we're gonna take our sky high. We're gonna let her marinate. Imagine, imagine, okay? So while we're doing that, we're gonna curl our lashes and we're gonna see what we have here, ta-da. You guys, I'm creasing already. I'm creasing already. The lipstick, it's not a good hack, but if it works for you, it works for you and that's awesome. It just doesn't work for me. Maybe because I have just really creasy on uh, ice, so it's not gonna work for me if I'm... I curled my lashes to high heaven, to actual high heaven, and now we're gonna take this out. They said people were saying 15 seconds, so that's not a long time. Ooh, it's warm. Oh, it, it almost like came out easier. It almost like literally came out so much easier. <laughs> that's what she said. And we're going to go ahead and use Miss Sky High by Maybelline. This is a, I really like this mascara, by the way. Is there a difference in the curl? I don't know if there's really a difference in the curl. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! The Muffin Man! But you know what, I actually do think that it's helping a little bit with the curl. Usually my lashes don't look like this and the curl like doesn't last as, like it just doesn't seem as lifted. I think what it is, it's the heat, right? It's the heat from the mascara coming off onto my lashes and it's like causing a little bit more of a curl because it's warm. What do you guys think? I think I can definitely see a difference for sure. Also, I bet like using this kind of hack, it would probably like help with like, let's say if it's really dry, if the mascara is really dry and caked onto the walls of it, then I bet it could really, really help with that as well. So I definitely see that hack as a, a working hack, a working girl hack. My lashes just are very, they're very stubborn, but I do feel like it worked. So the next hack is our last hack for the day. It is I paint my lower lashes with liquid eyeliner instead of mascara. No clump, just color. So let's try that out. So I'm gonna go and take this eyeliner. This is the Larga Duracion Natural Girl Second Rapido. I don't know what that means. I remember getting this from a, a mystery box. I think this is, this is a mystery box from Mexico potentially. I don't remember. But I'm gonna try this. It's like a hot pink. And we're gonna coat our lower lashes with this and see if it really does help with like the idea of no clump, just color. Honey, there is clumping. Ah, oh, there's still clumping here. I can definitely see it like coating though. It's coating nicely. So the problem with this hack for me is I like mascara for the bottom lashes because I really, it looks really cute though because it definitely looks pinker. What I like about using mascara is that it helps thicken my lower lashes because I don't have the best um, lower lashes in older land, you know? If you didn't know already by now, I don't have the best lashes in older lands, but it's cute. I actually think this is really, really cute hack. Especially if you want to try like colored line mascara, but don't really want to buy colored mascara and you 
you have some colored liners. Use the colored liners instead, it totally works. It's just not as thick necessarily as like mascara would be, but it definitely is working. Do you know what might be cool too, next time I do this, is if I put a coat of regular mascara on or like brown mascara or mascara primer actually, and I paint over them with the pink. I feel like that might work. It would definitely coat it. It would definitely do it. Also, I have like literal, I barely have any control of this by the way. It's gonna mess up my thing. I know it's gonna mess up, like I know it. Let me turn on my lighting a second to just see what it looks like. Do you see that? It's like a little pink lower lashes. It's still clumped up though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's still definitely clumped up. Essentially, it's literally just coating your lashes with a super pigmented color, which is really, really great. I love that. You can definitely do that instead of using color mascara. Um, but what I like about mascara is that it's easier to use than doing an eyeliner. It's a little bit more precise. And I feel like mascaras are usually more thickening. So it kind of gives you that extra thickness and density as well. But I do think it looks really cute. And that is it, you guys. That's us using all these hicks. Should I have a little bit of gloss? Let me just so I don't look like a crusty crust. This is Starlight by Lunar Beauty, by the way. One of my favorite glosses of all time. I feel so monochromatic and cute. Like, honestly, I really do. I do. I feel like I'm like about to be in a floral campaign, another blush campaign. Oh. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. Testing out your guys' hacks that you guys sent me, recommended to me, said I should try. And honestly, there were several hacks I really liked. Like the underpainting, like the Scott Barnes technique, loved how that looked. Using primer on my nose, like eyeshadow primer, I feel like it's gonna help with keeping oils at bay. I won't know, technically, if I don't keep this on for like literally 10 hours, um, which I thought was great. I love the little light blush underneath my eyes, like on the apples of my cheeks. I think it looks really nice and blended with the blush too. Thought that was super, super pretty. There's some hacks that didn't work for me either. You know, there were some that didn't work. The lipstick on the eyes just didn't work for me. It's not my vibe. Eyelash glue on my brows. It's just, it was a hot ass mess. So we had moments, you know, we had moments together. We had moments together. But um, overall, I thought this was really, really fun and I loved doing this. So let me know if you guys are down for me to do a part two. There's definitely more hacks I got, but I cannot make this video 45 minutes long. But if you guys liked it, I can definitely do more of them. I hope you guys had fun watching. I actually had a lot of fun filming it. But um, anyway, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I just hit puberty. Zero to hero. Just like that. That's so annoying. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, daddy. I'm getting ribbed tonight, RIP that. Can't say it, I can't say it, I'm not the one. Okay guys, anyway, so I'm, what the fuck? I'm homosexual. Oh honey, I'll do anything for you. I'm so pink today. I'm getting pink tonight. Okay, let me stop, I'm sorry. Thank <laughs> you.